Would you like to create a classroom behavior monitoring system? Well, let me show you how with JotForm Enterprise. Hey JetFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And if you are a teacher or an administrator who is wanting to track student behavior, you can absolutely get this set up within minutes with JotForm Enterprise. So as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my team workspace. And the first thing that's going to kick this off is going to be a form. Now, if you have to create a form from scratch in the top left-hand corner, we can come up here to create, we can choose form. And like I mentioned, we can start from scratch or we can use a template. And in this case, I am gonna use a template and I already have it ready to go. So I'm gonna go up in the top hand corner and choose this X. And we're gonna choose the functional behavior assessment form. So let's go ahead and edit this form. Now, like I mentioned, this was from a template, but I did wanna add in a few extra pieces. So I added in these three emails right here, which is going to make a workflow process, which we're gonna talk about in just a minute, a little bit more easy. Now, using a form like this makes it easy to consistently collect data on your student behaviors to spot trends and hopefully turn that behavior around. So with a form like this, you can record behavior observations in real time via a desktop or even on the go on your mobile device. This one is meant to collect specific incidents to report to admin, but you can create an entirely different form to document day-to-day -day behavior. And JotForm makes it easy to share your observations with other staff members, even guardians and counselors, and that is through workflows. So I'm gonna go up to the top middle tab, we'll choose settings, then over on the left-hand side, we'll choose workflows, and we'll create a brand new workflow. And you can see our starting point is the form that we were just on. And you can make workflows as simple or as complex as you want or need them to be. So let's say to kick this off, once we submit this form, and like I mentioned, this one was for a very specific problem behavior, we want to send something to everyone to let them know what is going on. So over on the left-hand side, I am going to choose a PDF, a recap of what happened. So let's go ahead and choose the settings for this. And we can see that the recipient is the principal's email. I'm gonna pull from the form fields, and this is where we can choose who else needs to know. Now, as we continue going down in the workflow, we're gonna keep these other people informed. So for this, I'm just going to have the assistant principal, but you can choose and add as many people as you would like. So as you saw, I chose the fields option. So you can pull fields from the form or we can type in emails right here one by one. All right, we can see that we have the PDF version of that form. I'm gonna go ahead and save, perfect. Next, I want to send an email to the student's guardians, letting them know what happened. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag this down and I'm gonna pull in the email right here. Let's go ahead and go to the settings and let's choose the recipients. And for this one, let's go ahead and get rid of that assistant principal email again and let's bring in the guardian. We'll go ahead and come back up to the email. And as you can see, it's gonna send a recap of the entire form. If you want the parents to see the entire form, you can absolutely do that. For this example, I am going to erase everything in this email. And I have something typed up that I'm gonna copy and paste in here. So we can see to whom it may concern, student name, and we can pull that right from here, from the form fields, was observed today, and then insert the problem behaviors. Be on the lookout for an invite from your student's counselor to discuss further. So we'll go ahead and save this. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and come down. And this is where we can come up here to integrations and we can start that scheduling process with the counselor. So we can choose Google Calendar. Let's go ahead and bring that in and let's complete our settings. We're going to create an event with a Google Meet and we can authenticate and we can choose that calendar. We can add in some form fields. So I want it to be the student's name plus that it was a behavior issue. We can do the required attendees. It's going to be the counselor and we can do the guardian email and then we can choose the start time. We can pull from specific things and we can have it be a 30 minute conversation. And if we want, we can add in that problem behavior to the event description. Perfect. And then lastly, let's go ahead and drag one more down. We're going to add in another form and this is going to be, let's select our form, the behavior plan template. So we can go ahead and choose this. We can do pre-fill. 
which means it's going to pull information from this first form to the second form so that way we don't have to fill out as much. Perfect. And I'm going to go ahead and come back up here. Let's come back over here to general and we're going to assign this to that counselor. We'll save and perfect. All right, so you can see once we fill out this behavioral assessment, we're gonna have a PDF that goes to the assistant principal to let them know what's going on. We have an email that's going to go to the parents so that way they know that something is also going on. We have that Google Calendar, Google Meet, set up with the counselor and the guardians and then we also have that behavior plan template set up so we can document behavior as it changes and it's as simple as that if you have any questions about how to create a classroom behavior monitoring system let us know down below in the comments if you like this video and you got some value hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video i'll see you next time